Drug of the Day Amantadine Amantadine is a medication used to treat dyskinesia associated with Parkinsonism and influenza caused by type A influenza virus, though its use for the latter is no longer recommended due to drug resistance. History Amantadine was approved by FDA in October 1968, as a prophylactic agent against Asian influenza. An incidental finding in 1969 prompted investigations about amantadine's effectiveness for treating symptoms of Parkinson's disease. A woman with Parkinson's disease was prescribed amantadine to treat her influenza infection and reported her cogwheel rigidity and tremors improved. She also reported that her symptoms worsened after she finished the course of amantadine. Pharmacological Classification Amandadine is in a class of medications called adamatons. It is thought to work to control movement problems by increasing the amount of dopamine in certain parts of the body. It works against influenza A virus by stopping the spread of the virus in the body. Possible routes of administration By oral administration Bioavailability 86 to 90 percent Elimination half-life 10 to 31 hours mechanism of action for Parkinson's disease the mechanism of its anti Parkinsonian effect is poorly understood amantadine appears to be a weak antagonist of the NMDA type glutamate receptor increases dopamine release and blocks dopamine reuptake for influenza the mechanisms for amantadine's antiviral and anti Parkinsonian effects are unrelated Amantadine interferes with the release of infectious viral nucleic acid into the host cell through interaction with the transmembrane domain of the M2 protein of the virus. It also appears to prevent virus assembly during replication in some cases. Usual adult dose for Parkinson's disease. Initial dose, 100 mg orally twice a day. Dose may be increased to 400 mg per day in divided doses under close supervision. Extended Release Capsules Initial dose, 137 mg orally once a day for one week, then 274 mg orally once a day, doses should be taken at bedtime. Extended Release Tablets Initial dose 129 mg orally once a day, may increase in weekly intervals not to exceed maximum daily dose, doses should be taken in the morning. Maximum dose, 322 mg per day. Side Effects Amandadine has been associated with several CNS side effects. About 10% or more of patients may experience falls, dizziness, and hallucinations. Other side effects may include constipation or dry mouth. Serious side effects may include drowsiness, especially while driving, suicidal thoughts, actions, or depression, new or worsened hallucinations, inhibited actions, gambling, sexual activity, spending, other addictions, and diminished control over compulsions, and lightheadedness, falls, and hypotension. Important Informations 1. Do not receive a nasal flu vaccine while using amantadine, and for at least 48 hours after your last dose. The vaccine may not work as well during this time, and may not fully protect you from disease. 2. Avoid driving or operating machinery until you know how amantadine will affect you. Amantadine may impair your thinking or reactions. 3. You may fall asleep suddenly even after feeling alert. Be careful if you drive or do anything that requires you to be alert. 4. Avoid taking diet pills, caffeine pills, or other stimulants, such as ad medications, without your doctor's advice. Taking a stimulant together with amantadine can increase your risk of unpleasant side effects. 5. If you take amandadine for Parkinson's symptoms, you should not stop using amandadine suddenly or your condition may become worse. Stopping suddenly may also cause unpleasant withdrawal symptoms. So that's for today. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.